Welcome to MC Squared Coaching Center Engineering Board Exam Frequently Asked Questions and the topic for today is Algebra Part 4. Good day, I'm Engineer Melvin John H. Manzuelo. So problem number one for Engineering Board Exam Frequently Asked Questions under the topic Algebra and this is Part 4 of Algebra free video lecture. So again, do not forget to click subscribe para ma-update pa po kayo sa mga new lectures ko po sa channel ko po. Okay, so let's start with problem number one of algebra part four. Find the value of k so that 8k plus 4, 6k minus 2, and 2k minus 7 will form an arithmetic progression. Again, Find the value of k so that 8k plus 4, 6k minus 2, and 2k minus 7 will form an arithmetic progression. Is it letter A, negative 0 0.5, letter B, negative 2, letter C, 0 0.5, letter D, 2? So, given sa problem po class is an arithmetic progression. Na may terms na... Yung first term is 8k plus 4, second term 6k minus 2, third term is 2k minus 7. And ang tinatanong value ng k and possible values of k nasa choices. Itong negative 0.5, negative 2, 0.5, and 2. Itong apat na to are possible values of k. Now, instead of using the formula na na-learn natin before, formula for arithmetic progression, Ang gawin po natin sa problem na to is to reverse. Ibig, ano ibig sabihin ko po class ng is to reverse? Bali itong mga values na to i-substitute natin sa given arithmetic progression. And kung sino po sa kanila ang maka-form ng arithmetic progression, yun po yung correct answer. So halimbawa, i-try po natin yung letter A. Sa letter A po class, yung K natin dyan is negative 0.5. So, ibig sabihin, itong negative 0.5 na to, substitute natin sa k dito, substitute natin sa k na to, and also sa k na yan. Okay, so, ito na po siya, 8k plus 4, yan po yung 8k plus 4, where k is negative 0.5, then 6k minus 2, yung k natin is negative 0.5 for letter A, then 2 times, kaya 2k minus 7, 2 times negative 0.5 minus 7. So, in this case, 8 times negative 0.5, that is negative 4, plus 4, that is 0. Then, 6 times negative 0.5, that is negative 3, minus 2, that is negative 5. Then, 2 times negative 0.5, minus 7, that is 1, minus 7, that is negative 6. In, to simplify, yan po yung arithmetic progression niya. Z, uh, yan yung series niya or progression niya. 0, negative 5, negative 6. And always take note, pag arithmetic progression siya, term by term, merong common difference. And the common difference sa term na to is negative 5 minus 0, that is negative 5. Ibig sabihin ko po, class, ang difference nito, ito siya is negative 5. And then, ito na naman siya, ang difference niya is negative 6, negative 6 minus, negative 6 minus negative 5, that is negative 1. Okay, ulitin ko ha. Common difference nito, negative 5, negative 5, okay, negative 5 minus 0, that is negative 5 equals to negative 5. Sa kabila naman, this is, ito sa kabila naman, this is what? Negative 6, negative 6 minus negative 5, okay, minus negative 5. So, ang result niyan is negative 1. Okay? So, it means walang common difference. Okay? Walang common difference. Bakit? Bakit nasabi ko walang common difference? Kasi between the first term and the second term, the difference is negative 5. Between the second term and the third term, the difference is negative 1. So, therefore, letter A is mali. Okay? Hindi po siya makaform ng arithmetic progression si letter A. So, pwede na natin i-eliminate si letter A as K equals to 0.5. Okay? Klaro po ha. 
So, yun. Kasi hindi po siya makaform ng arithmetic progression. So, tanggalin muna natin para may space tayo. So, yan. So, eliminate po natin si letter A kasi hindi po siya makaform ng arithmetic progression. Try naman natin si letter B. Letter B, okay, try natin as K equals negative 2, 8 times negative 2 plus 4, and 8K plus 4, 6K minus 2, or 6 times negative 2 minus 2, then 2 times negative 2 minus 7, ang maform niya is negative 12, negative 14, negative 11. Ang difference ng dalawang to is 2, or negative 2. Ito naman, that is, difference niya is negative 3. So, therefore, arithmetic progression or hindi? Hindi. Kasi hindi po parehas yung common difference. Again, ang difference ng dalawang to is negative 2 or yes, uh, negative 2. Itong difference ng dalawang to, that is negative 3. So, therefore, eliminate din natin si letter B. Again, para matawag natin ng arithmetic progression, dapat my common difference. Let's try letter C. Sa letter C naman, class, ang K natin, possible value ng K natin is 0 0.5. Okay? 0 0.5. So, let's try. So, 8 times 0 0.5, saan galing 0 0.5? That is a letter C. Plus 4. Then, 6 times 0 0.5 minus 2. Then, 2 times 0 0.5 minus 7. So, 2K minus 7, yan po siya. 2K minus 7, 6K minus 2, yan po siya. 6K minus 2. So, ang K natin dito is 0 0.5. Now, in this case, class, try natin kunin yung common difference. 1 minus 8, negative 7. Yes, negative 7. Negative 6 minus 1, that is also negative 7. So, it's very obvious na po yung correct answer. Bakit naging obvious? Kasi sa series na to, sa sequence na to, 1 minus 7, negative 7, negative 6 minus 1, that is also negative 7. So therefore, arithmetic, ang makaform ng arithmetic progression dito is si letter C. Si, try natin test si letter D, hindi rin makaform ng arithmetic progression. Bakit? 10 minus 20, negative 10. 3 minus 10, negative 13. So, hindi po siya common difference. So, eliminate po natin si letter D. So, the correct answer here is letter, letter C. Problem number 2. How many numbers between 25 and 400 are exactly divisible by 11? Find their sum. So, ang very close na number na divisible by 11, very close to 25, the greater than 25 is 33. So, since multiple of 11, divisible by 11, so yun yung 33, 44, 55, and so on, up to 385 and 396. So, ito yung first term, ito yung last term. Ang tanong, how many terms between 25 and 400 that are divisible by 11? So, again, this is still arithmetic progression. So, gamitin natin sa problem na to, kuha tayo ng calculator, press mode 3, 2. Yung mode 3, 2, yun po yung A plus BX sa stat mode. And then, sa table input natin, first term as 33, second term is 44. Pwede rin first term 33, third term 55. So, try natin hanapin class, ikailang term si 396. So, ibig sabihin yung class, given 396 yung value, ano yung X? So, after that, meron na tayong table na ito. If na-input na ninyo to sa table ng calculator, press AC. And after pressing AC, press 3, 9, and 6. Bakit 3, 9, and 6? Because yan po yung last term ng series natin or ng sequence natin. So, AC, press 3, 9, 6, shift 1, 5, 4. 4, that is si X hat. So, ibig sabihin, we are solving 396x hat. And 396x hat that is 34. And nag-iisa lang po yung 34 sa choices and that is letter C. And kung sa actual board exam class, no need. Tandaan, wag na wag nyo nang isolve ang sum. Bakit? Nag-iisa lang po si 34 dyan. It's a waste of time pag isolve po natin yung finder sum. Again, kailangan natin mabilis tayo sa actual board exam. 
not necessarily yung tinatanong isasag sasagutan natin. In this case, pwede natin piliin or i-shade si letter C because it's very obvious na po yung sagot. Wala naman pong may ibang 34. So, para mas klaro lang kung paano nakuha yung 7,293, so, AC shift log alpha shift 155 shift 1 uh, shift 1 at uh, 3, 4. Yan po yung siyang lag na gagamitin na class. So, after dito, press kang AC, then shift, then lag, yung alpha, and then ito siya, then shift, 1, 5, 5. So, ang forma niya class, ito po yung forma niya. So, after the shift, 1, 5, 5, 3, 4, then press equal, lalabas na po yung sagot. Ang, pag ganito na po yung nakikita natin sa calculator, ang gawin na lang natin, press equal. Then, pressing equal, lalabas siya na 7,293. Okay? So, ito po talaga yung sa calculator. Ito po yung lalabas sa ganitong pag-press. AC, shift, log, alpha, no, close parenthesis, shift, 155, shift, close parenthesis, 1, shift, then uh, close parenthesis, 3, 4, and then press equal. Okay? So, yun. The correct answer here is letter Letter C. Next, the force of gravity causes a body to fall 16.1 feet during the first second. 48.3 the second, the next second, 80.5 the third, and so on. How far will the ball fall in 10 seconds? So this is again a arithmetic progression, mode 3, 2. After that, mode 3, 2, input tayo sa table. Now, First term is 16.1, second term is 48.3, okay? And third term is 80.5. No need na actually ito ilalagay sa table. So, two values lang will do na sa table natin sa arithmetic progression. Then after that, uh, AC, shift, log alpha, shift, 155. So, yan po siya class kasi ang sabi sa problem is, isold po natin the total ano, distance travel. So, one shift uh, summation, x, y hat from 1 to 10, that is 1,610. Total travel before it going to stop. So, ayun. Thank you for watching and do not forget to click subscribe para if ever may i-update ako na bago, alam nyo po at mapapanood nyo po kaagad. Okay, so again, thank you for watching. And if ever may tanong, just PM me sa Facebook or sa Messenger lang. And if ever may request kayo ng mga problems, i-PM nyo lang din po ako. Again, our next topic is Algebra Part 5. Abang-abang lang po at i-upload ko po yung Algebra Part 5. Again, thank you, thank you, and have a nice day.